back to my channel. Today and over the course of the next week, we're going to be trying out the Caudalie Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum. Now, this was recommended to me by Tani Panosian here on YouTube, which you guys know I love and adore, literally sweetest human being ever. So she was talking about this on Instagram a few months ago, and I picked this up during the last VIB sale that popped up literally out of nowhere. Not the current one that's going on right now, so it's been a while that I've been holding on to this, and that is because I've been trying to finish up this Pixi Overnight Glow Serum, which I've been using after I ran out of the Drunk Elephant TLC Frame with Glycolic Night Serum. Hang on, like, stay with me here. I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but I find it really important to give you guys backstory about my skin so you understand my current skin situation going into this whole thing. So bear with me. So I ran out of this. This one I got from the Acid Trip Kit, which I picked up during the summer. Long story short, this got replaced by this, and now this is getting replaced by this. So Tenny was talking about how this is really perfect for those of us with sensitive, oily, acne-prone skin, which is exactly what I have. And currently, with the wildfires here in California, my skin has been drying out a lot and breaking out, so I need this in my life. I'm really praying that this will help target these breakouts I have going on. It's mostly right along my upper lip area, around my chin and then on the sides of my cheeks. I'll zoom in in a bit and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Another problem area that I'm having, which who doesn't have all the time, it's large pores. And I know my pores aren't necessarily huge, but lately they have been larger than usual, especially around my T-zone, right around the center of my forehead. Like if you just look at them up close in person, it's like pore central. Same thing around my nose, on my nose, and then my lip, and then right here along my chin. Every time I take a shower, this section right here is just like so dry and all of this sebum is just kind of like oozing out of it. I don't get it. Does that happen to anyone else or is it just me? Because like without fail, that always happens. All right, here's my skin more up close. As you can tell, right along the center of my forehead, all along here, we just have enlarged pores. And then once we go down to my upper lip area, I have two active breakouts. This one is a smaller white head. This one is just more of a red bump, which was a white head, but now it's like more bumpy. And then over here, I have another breakout, but it's kind of like gone. It's just more of the scarring now. Right along here and lots of <laughs> areas here are where those tinier breakouts are at. They're like really tiny white heads or just little bumps. And then it extends all along this side of my chin as well. And then over here, we just have more scarring, but just like kind of small bumps too. So let's talk about the serum for a sec. I want to touch on the ingredients because ingredients are really important to me when it comes to skincare. And ever since I've been using Drunk Elephant, I pay a lot more attention to ingredients. So this one, I'm just going to read off the top ingredients. It's water, rose water, alcohol, which is mm, mm, that gets me a little bit concerned. There is niacinamide, butylene glycol, salicylic acid, which is really going to help to combat those breakouts. And then once you go down a little bit further, there are essential oils in here. And that's kind of like, mm, as well, like the alcohol and the essential oils in here can have me a little iffy because I know that for those of us with sensitive skin, that can be an issue. So we'll see. But it does say they are plant based, like they're derived from plants, so maybe it'll be gentler on the skin. Not sure. If you know anything more about that, drop a comment and let me know if that actually makes a difference. I don't know. So in addition to all of that, it is 0% parabens, phthalates, uh, SLS. So that's all great. I love that. I just wish there was no alcohol and no essential oils. On the other side of the packaging, it says this lightweight serum melts into skin to help reduce the appearance of imperfections and tighten pores. The skin texture is visibly refined. The skin looks smoother and more luminous. Apply morning and evening to face before your cream. Avoid eye contour. Cool. So let's go ahead and try this on. I did already wash my face with this guy right here. This is the Bliss Makeup Melt. So I just put that all over my face for a minute, let it do its thing, take it off, and now we're gonna go in with this serum. Moment of truth, let's see what this looks like. I mean, I know what it looks like, but I've never seen it in person. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love the packaging. It's like kind of see-through, kind of like giving me 
plankton vibes. If plankton was to have a skincare routine, he would definitely use this because, um, look at it. It's literally a mini plankton in a bottle. And who doesn't want to look like themselves, but better and glowier? You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, so inside here, I can already tell this is a very watery serum. When I move it around, it's like, it moves. <laughs> wow, Shireen, it moves. It's a serum. But like, it's not thick, you know? Ooh, what is this? Instructions that we are not going to read because, um, very obvious. You just take a one squirt and you put all over your face, you know? Can you tell how amused I am by how watery this is? I could literally sit here and do this all day. This is so much fun. But we're not going to do that. So I'm going to take one pump onto my ring finger. And we're doing this because this is the most delicate finger. So there is one pump. I don't want this to slide down my finger. So I'm just going to just be quick with this. Ooh, this smells very pleasant. It smells like my grandma and i mean that in the best way possible you know how some grandma scents have like like not a pleasant smell this one's like a like a happy grandma scent what am i saying <laughs> Ooh, it's very smooth on the skin it just glides so easily i'm really really loving this like it's not burning my skin let's take one more pump because i feel like that actually wasn't enough there we go Okay, let me try to describe this scent a little bit better. You guys know I'm not the best at describing scents, but I want to say it's like... Oh, I know exactly what it is. Duh, I read this off. It's rose water. That's what it smells like. And it reminds me a lot of Persian New Year because we use a lot of rose water in our pastries and just like things in general. It's always a Persian ingredient, so no wonder I love it. All right, so when you rub this into your skin, you always want to go in an upwards motion and be very gentle on your skin. You don't ever want to tug down your skin because that's going to promote aging and just premature wrinkles, which is not what we're trying to do. I'm going to take a little bit more, just like the tiniest little squirt because I didn't get enough on my chin. Um, if you ever do want to go in a downwards motion, pat it into your skin like what I'm doing right now. That way you're not tugging on your skin and pulling it down. If you don't want to put this all over your face, you could also use it just as a spot treatment on your breakouts. So feel free to use it however you want to use it. Obviously, I just put it all over my face because I'm very curious to see how this will work. I'm going to give this a minute to just set and absorb into my skin and then I'm going to go in with a moisturizer. So the one I've been using for the past several months is this one from Patchology. This one is their Aqua Flash Daily Gel Moisturizer and this one is a gel moisturizer. It's super lightweight and it's really great for hydrating your skin. It's not irritating at all for me and it also does have a light floral scent which I really love as well. I cannot get enough of this thing. I'm so sad. I'm almost out, but it's okay. We're going to make the best of the last of this. While we wait for this to absorb, let's just talk about this Aveeno Pure Serum. It's not sticky at all. In fact, my face just feels more... Mm, like, like a soft, velvety matte texture. It's not dried out, but it's not hydrated either. It's just more velvety. Okay. Think of a velvet matte liquid lipstick and how that finish feels. You know how it's kind of like smooth and not exactly like a crunchy matte, more of a soft matte? That's what my skin feels like right now. It's not hydrated. I definitely need some moisture up in here, but it does have like a smooth matte finish. All right, so I'm just going to take one tiny little scoop of this onto my other ring finger Press this all over the skin, and then we're just going to begin to blend it out. Same thing with this. You want to go in an upwards motion, never tug down, never pull down. And then on areas like this that are a little bit harder to push up on, just go ahead and tap it in. that you're targeting your jawline as well that's an area that most of us tend to skip out on we bring the product right to here and then we don't take it underneath and missing that area is gonna 
you know, not really be helpful when it comes to <laughs> these breakouts and stuff, especially for me since all my breakouts are primarily along the bottom part of my chin right now. You really want to make sure that area is being treated as well. Now, even though the ingredients in here won't necessarily make you photosensitive, I always recommend going in with an SPF afterwards. One of my personal favorites is this one from Burt's Bees. This one is the Renewal Firming Day Lotion with Hibiscus and Apple Rejuvenating Complex, and it has SPF 30. If you didn't see my sunscreen video and my top three recommendations, I'll have it linked up here so you can check that out. But this one is by far my favorite. Now, I'm not going to be applying it today because I'm not really going outside anywhere. And yes, I know there are always advocates for people saying that you should wear sunscreen no matter what, if you're going indoors or outdoors, but I'm just not one of those people. If I'm going to be indoors and not really getting sun exposure, my blinds are down, there's really no source of lights in here other than my two soft boxes, which are going to go off after this video, I'm, I'm not going to put on sunscreen. But if I was going out for sure 110%, I would have this on. So that is it for the morning routine. I'll see you guys at night for the nighttime routine. All right, it's currently 5 p.m. So this has been on for several hours. Started filming this morning around like 10. So however many hours that is, it's been on my face. And I'm starting to get a bit of tingliness and redness. You can see it right along here on my cheeks and then like right along my chin. I don't know what's going on. I'm really hoping I'm not having an allergic reaction to this, but chances are I probably am. Considering the sensation, it feels like a light burning sensation. It's not to the point where it's like really bad, tingly, like I need to wash this off right now. It's like a few notches before that. I don't know how I feel about this. We're gonna keep continuing though. I'll do the whole nighttime routine we'll see how it goes welcome to night one so i'm just washing off my makeup using the bliss makeup melt so what you do with this is you just squirt a few pumps onto a cotton round press it all over your face and just rub it all off it comes off so easily <laughs> serum a minute to absorb into the skin and dance like an Egyptian. Now that you know why my skincare routine takes me five ever, time to moisturize. I'm using Drunk Elephant's Alala Retro Whipped Cream. I woke up the next morning with this red bump on my cheek. I literally have no idea what that is. thought that was super strange. I, for whatever reason, decided to reapply this on my face that next morning anyways. So that's what you're seeing me do right now. I did apply makeup after this. And let me tell you, it looked so bad by the end of the day. And I kept getting more of those red dots on my face. I'm going to talk to you guys more about it in a sec, but it was just not working out. As far as my breakouts go, they are still there and thriving, so mm, I don't know, man. Alright guys, I'm so sad about this. I really wanted this to work for me, but unfortunately we gotta cut this short because I'm still getting allergic reactions from that serum and it's been a few days now that I've stopped using it. I'm just trying to get my skin back to a healthy, normal place. I got some pimple patches on, my skin is just like freaking out right now. So the last time that I used it, I only put it on during the day and throughout that whole day, my skin was getting so dry, flaky, irritated. And by the time nighttime rolled around and I was washing off my makeup and just cleansing my face, I started getting these three really red 
bright, intense, I don't even want to call them breakouts because I don't think they were breakouts, but just like dots right along the upper part of my cheek. That has never happened to me before. And I was also getting smaller versions of it around this part of my cheek. My forehead was just exploding in these really small, tiny bumps, like literally places that I don't typically break out. I was getting these crazy reactions and I was just like, this needs to end. Like we can no longer keep using this serum because clearly I am allergic. Now, a lot of people have had really great experiences with this serum. Every time I go into Sephora, they're always raving about this serum, like all the people that work at Sephora. And unfortunately, it just did not work for me. If I could go back in time, personally, I would have stopped using that serum right after I read the ingredients. You guys even saw how I felt about it. I was a little bit sus, you know? I just know that those ingredients don't really mesh well with my skin, but I was just trying to be hopeful and I was like, maybe if I ride it out, it'll get better, but it didn't. So final thought, would I recommend this serum? Personally, I would not, especially if you have sensitive skin, I would say don't use this serum. Now, if you do want to use it, use it with caution. I know it works really great for a lot of people and it might work really well for you too, but if you do have sensitive skin, you're very prone to getting irritations, just don't use it. Some alternatives that I highly recommend are the Drunk Elephant TLC Frame Loose Clock Clock Night Serum, literally amazing. It works so well at removing pimples overnight or just significantly shrinking them. Another great one is Pixie's Overnight Glow Serum. These are both things that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, so you know. Those two are great, love those. I'll have those linked down below if you're interested and I also have videos about them, so I'll have those linked down below too if you wanna learn more about them and see them in action. Thank you again to Tenny for the recommendation. This is in no way, shape, or form her fault. My skin is just sensitive AF. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.